Hello, everyone. Welcome to Higher Mind Oracle with me, Catherine Nicole. This channeling today is going to be messages from the masters for you. Exactly what you need to hear right now. If you were drawn here, if your intuition brought you here. These messages are definitely for you. As always, take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We're going to start with some pre-picked messages from the mystical shaman oracle to give you guidance right now from the masters. Okay, so the first message here is the heart of sky. Your dreams and wishes coming true. What are your heart's desires? There's so much love supporting you right now to bring you peace and balance. And then we have the holy mountain. So climbing that mountain, finding the peace, getting to the top, succeeding, being enlightened. And then we have the journey, being present. You're very wise. You're mastering aspects of yourself for new beginnings. And it's all about the journey and following your heart. So we're going to start with the heart of sky, the invitation. The heart of sky brings you a sacred reminder. You are a channel for the original energy of creation. Become the paintbrush, the canvas and the artist all guided by the heart of sky set your intention ethically and clearly and allow the universe to take care of the details wow you are everything you are source source is you you are creating your reality set clear intentions clear ethical divine pure intentions and in the universe will make it happen. So what I'm hearing, wow, your heart's desires. I love it. And then we have the holy mountain. When the holy mountain shows up, it is time to be active. Do not let your doubts deter you and keep you bound. This is a time to leap over challenges and to remember that from the top of the mountain, there are no obstacles, only beauty and unobstructed view of the entire earth. And there's no need to go shopping for the right hiking boots or camping equipment to climb the holy mountain. You already have all the gear you need. Overcome any lethargy, indolence, and laziness as these are the real obstacles. So it's like the spark that's going to get you going. And you just keep going. You're the magician. You have everything you need. You can overcome any obstacle and climb any mountain that you need to climb. And I feel like this mountain is within you. Exploring what is serving you and what is not. Releasing what is not and allowing more and new expansive energy to uh, infuse your life. And then we have this beautiful journey card. The essence of the journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries of your life as you know it. The journey is not a holiday. It is a call to be hermit-like and go on a pilgrimage into the unknown. There are no maps to the territory you will be exploring, no marked paths or road signs. And if you would like assistance on this inward journey, reach out to me anytime. Wow, these are beautiful messages from the masters. And I have these um, keepers of the light. It was, uh, I've drawn a blank there for a minute. Keepers of the light oracle. And we're just going to see what comes out here. Gaia, earth connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to earth and stay grounded. So ground all this higher mind mastership energy into the earthly plane. You are manifesting your dreams. 
Mother Earth Gaia is with you, supporting you every step of the way. Gaia is a master. And be mindful of what you're saying, what you're doing, and how you're expressing yourself. Be mindful of how you're treating the planet and your surroundings. And it's time to get grounded. Perhaps you've, you know, once you've gone on this hermit journey within, and then you ground all that wisdom in and you, you take action. That's what I'm feeling. You have the world in the palm of your hand. Bridget, inner strength, that inner flame, that inner fire. Move back into wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. You are the light. You are the divine. You are the creator. On fire for life, and you are stronger than you know, and you have so much love within you and around you supporting you. You are very powerful. Use your power to create the life you desire. Light that fire. Get one more here. Charity, prayer, and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. Yes, what is meant for you is meant for you. And there's so much love and abundance and spiritual growth and good health. Beautiful connections coming your way. Your prayers are being heard. Ask and you shall receive. I'm going to see what the bottom is here. Ooh, Kuthumi, the cloak of wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know, trust your intuition. When you go within, you will find all the answers that you seek. Your entire world, your entire universe, everything is within you. And that is the truth. And you are very wise. There's a lot of wisdom that you've gained on this journey. Remember that. And you are the answers you seek. You already know. This is just your confirmation so that you can feel confident moving forward. That's what I'm hearing. And then we have the Santa Muerta tarot deck. And we're just going to see what messages come out for you right now. You're moving on, moving forward to peace, relocating, traveling. Someone may be traveling to see you, but this is really just peace in the mental body. No more battle within yourself, within your ego, with others. It's like you're leaving that all behind and you're taking all that wisdom with you, all the lessons with you for growth and it's peace. Okay, let's find out a little bit more about that. <laughs> this is just confirming you're moving out of the five of swords on six of swords. It's like you're... You might have obstacles and opposition and maybe some old stories that are needing to be let go of, but you're, you're making it out. Like, it's like running, like you're leaving the battle. Things are changing and you are the one that's changing things. So, and you have support, see? Like either a masculine and feminine together or that's some spiritual support helping you to the other side. So I do feel like there is a masculine energy that is supporting the feminine, helping the feminine move on to more peaceful times. Wow, that's a really beautiful gift. So you're being supported right now. Yeah, because it's it's been um, you know a little bit crazy in the head, right? Uh, wallowing the regrets, the things that didn't work out, and it's like a, a minefield, hard to get through. Hard to find the balance. It has been. But things are changing. See, fives are all about blessed changes. There's blessings coming. And all that you've been through and all that's happened and all that hasn't worked out is just leading you to what is working out. And, you know, oftentimes the five of cups, there's like the two of cups still standing. So it's like that best friend, that soulmate is right there. I, I feel that right there, like to support you. 
And this is about you taking the time to sift through what is working for you and what's not. It's like looking at your emotions, diving in, pulling out what isn't, is no longer a part of you and doesn't make sense anymore. And that's realizing that things that didn't work out the way you thought, shut doors, losses, sadness, it is just giving you an opportunity to grow. And this is something new. An offer in love could be an apology. And whoever this is coming forward to communicate has really thought about things, has had some regrets, has, has been in the toxic energy, but moving out of it. And it's always up to you to decide what is good for you. But things are changing. There's like this, this really sweet new start for you. <laughs> yes, where everything is working out, building your empire, your legacy, stay dedicated. There is a strong, protective ancestor spirit masters with you to help you with this. To help you find stability, mind, body, heart, and spirit. And attract this opportunity to build a legacy to build your empire. And I feel really strongly that there is a masculine energy. It, it could be a lover. It could be a boss. It could be um, a father type figure, but is coming in to do something, to change things, to help you move, to help you relocate, to offer you that job, to connect you, to bring in the love. I mean, wow. Let's get a little bit more on that. Who's that? Yeah, it's like some kind of divine opportunity where you're saving your money, more money in your purse, uh, some, learning something new, discovering something new about yourself, remembering your gifted skills and talents and using them to move forward in the material world. But this is, this is the start of something new. You're being offered something here. Yeah. I am telling you, there is a strong, passionate, masculine energy that's like, look up, look this way, look to the light, look forward, be present. I have something to say to you. I have something to offer you. I feel very passionate for you. And this is also about you taking charge of your life and making decisions and following that burning passion. You see the, the, this Bridget energy here? It's like that flame. That's the king of wands, that flame, inner strength. You hold the power. And I feel like there's a masculine energy in your life, a master from beyond as well. It's like coming together. Like it, I feel like it's both physical and it's definitely you know the master speaking to you to saying you have the power. Remember that you are the light. Yeah, and you can overcome anything. And it's, it's transmuting the shadows into the light, learning from the richness, exploring the shadows with that sifting through the emotions. Okay, what do I believe? Releasing codependencies, addictions, negative thinking, self-sabotage, connections that aren't serving you, right? You have the power. Nobody and nothing has power over you. And you are mastering the shadow aspects, which is the key. The key. See, look up. There's, this is all part of the plan is what I'm hearing. Yeah, there's brand new beginnings for you. You're being blessed right now. And of course, I was drawn to this deck because it's got a lot of ancestor mastership like energy in it and the skulls. Skulls are a big sign for you right now. But there is a brand new beginning being offered to you. The Ace of Pentacles, a path to prosperity, a path to a new home, relocating, job, money, commitment higher level of commitment. It's all coming to you. This is what's changing and it's changing in your physical reality. But first it starts within you. Like, what are you thinking? What are you speaking into your existence? Then you feel it all the way. That's what this page is saying. Feel it. Feel everything. Emotions desire to be felt, understood, and then brought to the light. And so you're doing that and you're being gifted. With this new start, and I feel a masculine is coming in to offer a higher level of commitment. Wow, I look forward to hearing about that. And look at the bottom. <laughs> I love it. The sun, the happiest card in the deck. And I want you to notice 
that there's the, the people playing guitars here and then guitars here. It's like, what music are you listening to? What thoughts are you having? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Right? And there's a lot of richness to be gained here. And then you bring it into the light for manifestation, happiness, joy, love, abundance, prosperity. Your loved ones are with you. The masters are with you creating the music of your life. I mean, this is the most positive card in the deck. The divine masculine sun shining in, giving you the clarity, the healing, the manifestations you desire. I mean, joyful times ahead. Joyful times ahead. And your last message is going to be from the Native Spirit Oracle deck. And we're just going to get your last message here. I appreciate you. If you'd like to visit HigherMindByDesign.com, I invite you to do that. And to email me at HigherMindTribe at gmail.com. And here you go with the Eagle Medicine. Eagle Eye Perspective. Higher Mind Perspective powerful energy here. So let's look up the ego spirit. Ego medicine, profound connection to the creator in the heavenly realms. As the eagle soars high above the earth, it has the ability to see things from a higher perspective. Courage and stamina are filling your life. You have the ferocity to right injustice and wrongs done to you or others. There is time to face fear and overcome it. So this is the time. Your native spirit wants you to know, if ego medicine card has chosen you, you are at the advent of opportunity to truly see life from a rarefied vantage point. Eagles are considered one of the most sacred of all birds in many tribes and cultures. Their single-minded fierceness Dynamic energy and ability to soar high are part of the reason for this. This card reminds you to take heart and face fear. You do indeed have the strength to overcome any adversity. You also have a direct line to the creator. Your prayers are heard and will be answered in accordance with the highest good. You have the capacity to channel extraordinary life force energy through your hands. Ooh. Go on an inner journey and imagine that you're an eagle. Feel the power of your wings, the clarity of your eyesight, and the power of your talons. As you do this, be aware of the energy and majestic eagle filling you. Oh, I just got the chills. I'm sending you all so much love.